I can't see. Missed. Then there's the cheers and shouting and relief. Finally, it's real. Who was the first person you saw when you got off the plane? Vietnam veteran shaking my hand. My future wife. My commanding general. The next flight waiting to board. My little boy, four years old. Who was there to welcome you home? Veterans and family members. My wife and her family. Some service friends. My boys. My parents. Strangers and unfamiliar faces. The dogs were waiting for me at the house. The one Mika got so excited that she watered my boots. I didn't want a big homecoming due to the fact that it's a day and a half trip back to the States. And the crowd is the last thing I wanted to continue with. What food did you miss while deployed? Home cooking. My wife's cooking. Homemade food. I'm Mexican, so you think it would be Mexican food, but it wasn't. It was Italian. Italian bread and sauces. What was the first thing you did when you got home? Slept peacefully. Showered. Take a shower. Nice, long, relaxing, enjoyable shower. Clean up Nika's pee. I had a nice meal with my family and friends. A good hot shower and a good sleep. What was the first thing you thought when you heard you were coming home? Thank God. Thank God. Thank God American food. Reflection. OK, we're going home. But then the worry sets in, the fear that someone will get too relaxed, get complacent, and end up not going home. It's not true until your feet on the ground in the States. While you were deployed, what did you look forward to? Spending my money. Seeing my family. My own bed. My own bathroom. Making sure that all 100 of my guys got home, and that they get home safe. Coming home. Korea was a terrible place. Cold and hard. How did your family react when, they, when you heard they were coming home? Lots and lots of hugs. Tears from the women. They were all happy. Especially my mother. A strong handshake from the guys. And a sprinkle from Nika. Excited. They had heard from the internet what had been going on, but to be able to say, you're here, you have all your fingers and toes, that mattered. I am an orphan, so I had no family to come home to. My only friends were deployed with me. After a year of hurt, and I'm not sure they knew what to expect, I had been in the army for 16 years, so we were used to separation. But this time was different. Coming home from a war, they somehow thought I might be different. How did you change while overseas? I have a new respect for the culture where I was deployed. I learned to appreciate what I had. I became far too mature for my age. I became a typical Marine. I had that typical nervousness about corners and whistling sounds because it reminded me of enemy rockets. Not taking so much for granted. More patriotic than before. I was a grumpy old man at the ripe old age of 20. Everything became more important. Every little thing about being a service member, enjoying life, my family, my kids. It's hard growing up. 
but you do. You become an adult in a hurry. I'm not going to say you become a man, though. Well, you do, but you become an adult in a hurry. Now there's one change. Birthdays. We make a big deal out of birthdays now. My wife had been in charge while I was gone, so my homecoming made taking that burden off, but things had been run her way. I couldn't just take over. There was the reality of learning to live with each other again, learning each other all over again. Now I'm retired, and that means no one can make me leave again ever. Describe your first ten minutes home. Rubbernecking, looking at the snow. A hot hour. My first ten minutes were lost to the abyss of the past. My first ten minutes, I just hugged my wife and kids. It was so good to see them again. There were times when maybe I thought that might not happen. When those thoughts arose, I had to shake them off quickly. Negativity screws up your concentration. That's what I told my men. Focus on the mission, and when you get home, focus on your family. There were times when maybe I felt guilty about not thinking of my family enough. Your first day? I remember I spent eternity on the couch, just dozing in and out while my kids played on the in the living room. It was some of the best sleep I'd ever gotten in my entire life. My first day, I made sure all my men reunited with their families. Tying up some loose ends from while I was gone. Catching up with Sarah. I went to the DMV to pay for the registration of my car since it expired while I was gone. We had to take care of our responsibilities, even if we just want to relax. Your first month? We drove home to Ohio to visit my mom and family. Having fun and a mini vacation. My first month, I just kind of went places. The mall and out to eat. Visiting family. I went back to California to visit some family. It was a vacation, but also a see them still alive kind of visit. Right around Christmas time, they thought my mother had appendicitis. When they took her to the hospital, they opened her up and found out she probably had cancer for about 10 years. While still at the hospital, she got up from her bed to go to the bathroom, had a blood clot, died right then and there. My brother was still at war and had to come home for the funeral. 